for the most important dress in Amanda's life, he's brought Andrew to the local charity shop. Seriously, mate, you, like, trust me. I'm just a little bit caught in the middle. Back in Liverpool, the girls have come to look for Amanda's fantasy wedding dress at a high-end boutique. I think that is beautiful. It's like that's got enough fittedness to go. Yeah, nice and then. <laughs> I want to feel glam. <laughs> yeah. Forget princess. I'm a queen. <laughs> Can I try it on? Flush cow. As Amanda slips into her dress, Mum Jo and Auntie Lynette are well aware of the implications if Andrew gets it wrong. It's going to be the most important dress she ever wears. Over that time. So, yeah, it's tight. Tight. It's got to be got to get it right. I think she'll have them scissors out cutting it off. If, if it's not right? Yeah, yeah. In the charity shop, Neil's already spotted a bargain. £195 for a dress. A horrible dress that doesn't fit. It's horrible. Yeah, that's that dress. Oh, we've got a budget. That's that's what I'm thinking. That's the problem. Yeah, if I cut the budget on 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 this for a dress for the sake of 300 quid, right? Yeah, but right, you might. What does that say? What no, does it's that... not saying nothing. With the lad squabbling over a 195 pound frock, Amanda's found her fantasy dress at 10 times the price. Oh, Amanda, that is gorgeous. Amanda set her heart on a silk fishtail design with an encrusted diamante cleavage. And with the gamble she's taken on the biggest day of her life, it's all too much. I'm just scared. He's not thinking of the right one. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure you'll get you a nice dress, Amanda. Back at the charity shop, Neil's resorting to anything to try and get a laugh out of Andrew. Do you love me? Why are you going to be like this? You may kiss the bride. Yeah, okay, fine. Right. Andrew? Neil's attempt to get Andrew to crack a smile is failing miserably. <laughs> it's just that I'm giving him this decision and I hope he doesn't let me down. Having convinced Neil the charity shop wasn't for him, the lads hit Lakeside Shopping Centre. After two long hours of indecision and titting around from Neil, something finally grabs his eye. I love that. I've just seen that. Yeah, just out of the corner of my eye, I caught that. Andrew zeroed in on an ivory-coloured ball gown stuck at the back of the shop where he can barely see it. It's nothing like the one Amanda's hoping for. It's the one, yeah, that's definitely the one. That's perfect. I love it. Any normal groom would ask to see a model try it on, but Andrew wants Amanda to be the only woman to wear it. Let's hope it fits her better than this headless mannequin. On the plus side, when his bride-to-be sees it, the choice between his new life with Amanda and his old life with Neil could be made up for him. I mean, it's, it is the top of my budget, and, that, okay. and obviously getting underneath it would be better. But okay. I, do, I, I think that's a perfect dress for me. At a thousand pounds, the dress leaves just four grand in his war chest. With the wrong venue, the wrong dress, and sailor boy Andrew at the helm, this wedding is heading for the rocks.